Hi, this is Ocarina Tycoon, and I'm going to be doing a review of the uh, new Clay's uh, Zelda replica um, that I got as a trade. I sent them one of my Zelda replicas, and uh, they sent me this one. Uh, it's got four holes on the top, with uh, two dummy hole, two. Uh, I'm sorry, four dummy holes to give it the actual uh, replica feel to it, um, and it's got a one hole on the back, so it's a five hole version. The uh, band is uh, unglazed, so it's basically ha it basically has a matte finish on it. And uh, same thing for the the sound hole area. So uh, that's a pretty cool quality. And then the Triforce right here, it's actually etched in and raised, so it's not just uh, a painted on Triforce. It's it's it, it has you can feel it. It's basically a uh, a relief effort, right? And then um, the mouthpiece. You can see from here that they uh, hollow it out so that it creates a uh, funnel, and then they can see what they're doing when they when they line up the uh, wind slot with the bevel. Uh, so this ocarina sports a range of one octave plus one, and it's actually pretty small. Fits pretty well into the palm of my hands. I can hold it pretty easily though and you can play it pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to give you a sound demonstration on this now. One of the things I noticed about this, uh, the sound is very clean throughout the entire range, from the bottom to the top. And it doesn't require very much breath either. Uh, you don't have to you know, blow very hard into the mouthpiece like you would with uh, the STL tenor, you know. And um, the glaze itself. Uh, you know, there's another appearance-wise version here. You have different uh, colors in in the glaze, and it's got speckles in it too. So that's pretty unique. I like that. Um, the bottom note, the first hole, you can actually cover that halfway and get an extra note. Uh, so that's pretty pretty interesting. I'll do a uh, I'll do a song on this. So, uh, reviewing this and playing on it for a little while and uh, looking at its appearance, um, this ocarina, I'm going to give it a rating of 9.7, um, because it's, it, it works very well, it does its job, it plays songs very nicely, um, that's a pretty high rating too for me, so, uh. That's one of the highest ratings I've given on an ocarina, actually. So, that's my review on my Clay's Zelda replica from Clay's.com. I, uh, I recommend you to try to get one of these because they're definitely worth it if you want really good sound quality on a five-hole ocarina. When I got the ocarina in the mail, um, it came in this uh, little blue bat, uh, blue pouch, and it fits it rather perfectly. So, 
and uh, it's a really deep cobalt blue and inside of it came an orange sheet that has all kinds of songs on there so uh, and it also tells you how to play some of the uh, scales like the diatonic, the chromatic, pentatonic, Native American, minor, Middle Eastern. Um, you can learn you know pretty much anything really. Anything you need to know it will be on this uh, on this song sheet. See that? I like that logo. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, this uh, this was a review for the Clay's four-hole. I'm sorry, five-hole Zelda replica. Thank you.